Hello, and happy Wednesday morning. Thank you to all of you who have come to support Robin May and her Masters of Composition for film recital. A lot of hard work uh, done by Robin uh, this quarter, and um, I constructed the class in such a way that Robin was going to be asked to write um, the kind of thing that we get asked to write as professionals, which is music of all different shapes, varieties, types, genres, and Robin did a great job with it and enjoyed it. So uh, there is a piece for string quintet. There is a piece for um, we studied ethnic uh, music from Japan and Korea, um, and then Robin picked. They had Robin had to pick a um, a culture, study it, use its scales and language, and write a piece with it. And she wrote a piece using Persian uh, musics. So um, not pandering, pandering to her half Persian <laughs> teacher, but was just uh, taken with that music. Uh, no, not, not this time. <laughs> Maybe in the fall. I have to ask Tom for that. Um, or Iris. Pizza and hummus. Um, Robin had to write for big band, which is something we get asked to do. And like anything we get asked to do, if you're not quite familiar with it, you go and you research it and you study it and you break it down and you get examples of it. Um, Robin was asked to write to picture using a hybrid format of electronics and orchestra. And she did that in two instances. You'll see a sequence from Tron where there is orchestra and electronics. And then there is a sort of a conceptual video that she wrote music to called Wrapped, um, which is uh, both of those were Budapest sessions that, that uh, you know, we're very pleased to present uh, today. Uh, she was also asked to write uh, electronic dance music type of uh, cue. And you would say, well, when do you get asked to do that? Well, you do. <laughs> and when someone says, can you do Pitch Perfect 2, you don't say, that's not at my wheelhouse. You say, yes. Um, so uh, <laughs> these, all of the scenarios that, um, that Robin was faced with this quarter, um, she met willingly and you know, dove, dove right into it and did a great job. So um, am I leaving anything out in terms of je... Oh. And there was another hybrid piece, um, uh, anime-themed uh, music, um, where she did a theme that would be for an anime project that's got electric guitar in it. It's got like a rhythm section and an orchestra, you know, things like that. Having to write for different scenarios. So um, anyway, I'm happy to present the wonderful student that you all know, Robin May, who is going to uh, introduce each of the the pieces for you, but uh, really deserving of a round of applause is Robin May. Thank you, James, and thank you all for being here. Um, the first piece I'm going to show today is a string quintet. We recorded it here, and um, I mixed it with mud. Um, and so for the pieces that weren't to picture, for this one, um, we have score video, which is fun and exciting. Um, so this is a string quintet. This is Visions of Revenge.
Thank you. Yeah, that one was really fun to write, really fun to hear played. Um, it's a, it was a tough one, so it was a good challenge for them. Yes, Brett, you have a question. Tell me more. Tell you more. All right. Um, so a lot of the things I focused on for that one, I was trying to work with just expanding the string quintet, because initially I was working with the concept that it might have been a string quartet, and then we added a bass in. Um, but a lot of what I was focused on was just getting the energy, just trying to move away from just what I'm used to writing conventionally and just used to writing orchestrally. This is probably the most complex piece I've written. Um, and it was, it, it was a good challenge to write and just try to get emotion out into a, into a different perspective. I think it was really fun. Um, the next one is um, the one I did inspired on Persian traditional music. Um, this, another just taking me in a, in a different direction from what I'm used to, um, just working with different scale types, rhythm types, and uh, odd meter. As you can see, we're kind of running, running with seven, eight here. Um, but I had, a really, I had a really fun time writing this one, and it was tricky to get the hang of. I think the biggest thing that gave me a challenge was kind of being able to glue it all together and make it a unified piece. And um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this is uh, Verdant Echoes. Sorry, there was just one thing I wanted to add, which is that this particular Persian scale has quarter tones in it. So when, if you hear that, that is on purpose. <laughs>
Thank you. Yeah, that one was, um, another, again, like I said, just another really big challenge, but really fun to write um, once I got into it. And a lot of research involved and put into that of just scales and instruments and rhythms and patterns. And um, it's a good challenge to be able to do that research. And then it feels good having that result. Um, this next one is probably of the, of the pieces we've done that were a little bit out of my comfort zone. This one was the most in my comfort zone. This is a big band tune. Um, played in big band throughout, you know, middle school and high school, and so I have a little bit of background in it. And uh, this was really fun. It was a lot of work to put together, and um, James really helped a lot in terms of um, helping with the mock-up, and I really appreciate that. Um, and the other fun thing about this one is um, there's a trumpet solo on it, and I recorded me playing it. So I'm excited for that too. Um, <laughs> That, that's the other exciting thing about this. So uh, this is City Lights. Yeah, I had fun on that one. Um, fun to write, fun to play on. Um, this next one is, again, we're just working across all styles here. This next one is um, an EDM track, so no score for this one, but just a little light background video. Um, a, a, a new challenge every time, but th this one was really fun. I got to really mess around with kind of the elements of this genre, and we we did a good amount of, of research and kind of just trying to blend genres here. So. Um, this one's called Playtime, and you'll see why. <laughs>
mean, look, we talked about sampling something, so I found a laugh and went with it, <laughs> and now it's part of it. Um, I, that, that was entertaining, and that was a lot of fun to do. Uh, <laughs> this next one, oh yeah. This next one is kind of, we just, we did some research into kind of anime music and kind of that rock orchestral style of it. Um, this one was a lot of fun to write. It was really, really catchy, and it, um, I think it turned out really well. I'm really excited for this one. Um, James helped a lot with getting the getting the rock elements together and a lot of uh, you know just making this mock-up really come to life. Um, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, no vocals on this one, sadly, but that's that's okay. We're getting we're getting still that full or, or orchestral feel. Um, this is Luminary's Tale. Thank you. Um, this next one has a little bit of a, a story running through it. So this um, is the light bike battle from Tron Legacy. Um, initially, I had worked on scoring it last summer um, as a full orchestral thing with Budapest. Um, we had some challenges with the with the orchestral section of it. So um, this this kind of thing was outside this class for this quarter. But I worked with Mud this quarter, and we kind of completely um, electronic like decked it out in electronics so we're it, a lot of this is going back and forth and using both the orchestral and the electronic elements um 
as Mud would say, we invited Giorgio Marauder, and he showed up, and it was a good time. Um, but I'm really proud of how this one turned out. It was a long quarter's worth of work of just, you know, finding out what really worked from the orchestral side and what we wanted to amplify with electronics. Um, and I'm really excited about this one. So there's no um, dialogue or effects, just so you can get the most of listening to the music for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> right? Yeah, no, that's exciting. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited for how this one turned out. Um, music starts a, a little bit in, so be patient on it. But I'm, I'm really proud of this one, and I'm really happy with, with this now that we've, we've put it all together. So hope you enjoy.
Thank you. Yeah, that was um, that was a fun quarter's worth of work. Um, it was it was it was tough. It was um, tough to get back listening to the orchestra side of it. And once I did, and once we kind of started tossing as many electronics as we could on it, um, it felt really good, and I was really excited by the end of that. Um, so these last two are it's the same piece of music as what we recorded with Budapest this quarter. Um, I'm, um, it's it's a fun, really kind of abstract, very kind of weird, uh, weird animated short. Um, it's called Wrapped. Um, we got the chance to kind of, I got to, I got to write to picture this quarter. Um, so that's, there's the blend of synths and orchestral elements. Um, and kind of putting it all together was a really big treat. We got to mix with Mud uh, for this one as well. Um, and it was, um, it was a really good experience all around. And it's similar to what I did for like my junior and senior projects in undergrad, um, except this one was kind of condensed to like, oh, let's do it in like three weeks total. Um, so it's a good, it's a good, it's a good challenge of like how how can we get everything all right, write it, orchestrate it, notate it, put it all together, um, and get it kind of fully finished. So I'm really excited for that. Um, we'll first show the version that's all to picture, and then the second one will have the orchestra video as well spliced in when they when the orchestra takes over. Um, so We'll kind of do both of these back to back. Um, I'm really excited for you all to see these, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs>
And that's all I have to show for today, but I wanted to say thank you all for coming out and listening, and thank you to James and Mudd and everyone for helping out this quarter. Um, it's been really a great quarter. I'm really excited. I'm glad people could make it. Now you all can see what I was talking about in terms of all the hard work that was done. So another round of applause for Robin. Yeah.